everybody, and welcome back to the stream. Hope you're all doing well. We are back at it with the second stream of um, Bonus Month. We're going to be taking on Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze Hard Mode, starting with Irate 8, which I believe I tried last stream. It didn't get very far. Because this is a level where an octopus attacks you, and it kind of just seems like they have to memorize a layout of, of what's going on. So this may take a bit. Last time was the only time in this playthrough of hard mode that we hadn't made it through a full world in the stream. We ended up only making it through half of the water world. Which I guess makes some amount of sense. Uh, given that world f we're getting into later parts of the game. So they would be more difficult. Um, but we shall see how things go. Uh, the goal today is to make it through all of World 4. It may be pretty difficult to do so. Because there's a couple levels that I am dreading. Also, I need to remember that these things, like, shoot off projectiles from the sides. And I just got caught in the explosion because I wasn't fast enough. Hey there, Nami. Letter League game? Is that... Is Letter League another one of the, the Discord games? Is it like... A Wordle kind of thing? Anyways, welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Although I was just talking to you a few minutes ago. Scrabble? Got it. Morning Rain, welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Oh, I didn't get the air bubble. Oh, I may just drown. Okay. Not close at all. Why do you ask? Okay, I'm just dead anyways. I did remember to buy lives uh, before the stream this time. <laughs> Which we will need. Um, but yeah. The goal is to make through all of World 4, but this stage... Pretty hard. Also, I thought I swam away from that in time. This stage, hard. Boss fight took me like 45 minutes to do with four health, so I have no idea how long it's going to take me with one. This was like the second hardest boss in the game to me. The K stage in this world, we actually did last stream, because this was the easiest of the six K stages, but... This level is going to take a bit. There's a level that I still have to do that's just like a maze level, which is just long. And you know, long levels are not good when you can't take a hit and don't get checkpoints. And then it's so, yeah. And it's just water levels in general, which I'm not as good at the controls of. Oh, right. I was swimming back, but not fast enough. You got harassed in public? Oh, jeez. Sorry to hear that. That sucks. I don't really have anything else to say about that other than, like, fuck, I'm sorry you had to deal with that. Hopefully this stream can be at least a distraction of some sort. Fuck you, fish. But yeah, uh, based on the poll that I posted in my Discord, um, people... <sighs> People didn't want to see the, the Pac-Man point grinding stuff, and I don't blame them. It would just be replaying through stages that I had literally just played through the previous stream. So, I will do that off-stream. I actually did a little bit of that last night and got, like, half to two-thirds of the way done with the point grinding. So, what even hit me? The wall? Hello? Uh, so, I will, like, post in Discord, like, a screenshot or something, just to say, hey, I actually did the thing, but, uh, yeah, that'll be done off-stream. Uh, maybe I'll talk about, I don't know, I'll probably talk about this more at the end of stream when I'm talking about schedule, but I genuinely don't know how many more streams there will be this month. The plan was to do, like, a midweek stream. A couple of midweek streams, like my standard Monday, Thursday, Sunday schedule, or Saturday schedule with a little more flexibility. Like a mid, two midweek streams and a weekend stream. 
Uh, this stream was supposed to be yesterday, but I just got very behind in work and had to actually get some shit done last night, which thankfully I did, and I'm caught up enough in work that I'm, you know, fine to stream today. Um, but, and I can probably, and the plan is still to do another stream on Thursday. However, the weekend is becoming less viable for streaming due to family stuff. Not anything bad, just family stuff is making plans that I didn't know would exist. Also, this is the octopus, by the way, that comes and attacks us. Oh, shit. I didn't beat it. I did not. I was not fast enough. Um... So, yeah, I don't know... I want to do two more streams before I go out of town. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to. Just kind of wait and see. I feel bad that for, like, how little I've been able to stream recently, but just... Thanksgiving travel, and then end of quarter busyness, and then unexpected, like, family members moving is, is what it is. You're gonna write today, but you're no longer in the mood. Yeah! Don't blame me for that. Hopefully you can write more soon. But yeah, the, the general plan... ...is, um... I wanted- what I want to do is two more streams. Stream of Rayman Legends, cause... Pac-Man and Rayman Legends, of all the bonus stream stuff, are the ones that I think are closest to finishing. Like, Pac-Man was one stream, I think Rayman Legends is most likely two? But I'm not sure. So I want to do a Rayman Legends stream, and then probably a, uh, Hat in Time Death Wish stream. And that will probably be the end- that- that's kind of- I want to do, like, five or six streams, but I just have not at the time for a variety of reasons to do that. So the hope is, the, the then hope became four. I'm dead. Thursday, you're gonna finish writing Tree, aka finish writing the first draft of the story for the first time ever. Yo, let's go. That's awesome. That's a massive step forward. <laughs> you solved the last issue within your head? Nice. Speaking of massive steps forward, I am not taking massive step forwards in this level. I need to, like, get to the fucking octopus bit more frequently just so I can, like, learn that part of the level. Because the octopus bit, I can't, like, blind read as much because there's just going to be tentacles everywhere. Um... But I can't make it past the start of the level. It's pretty much official you're not taking college classes next quarter. Oops, I was looking at chat and swam into a bomb. Would not recommend swimming into bombs, by the way, in case you're wondering. Um, that's good. But do you know if you'll be doing something different instead? Like finding a like a trade school or something? Finding a, like, I don't know. I don't know how much the, uh, that kind of stuff has been, uh, the minimum wage job. Okay, that's also, that's also a very valid option. That makes sense. Yeah, I was gonna say, it would make sense it would be either a minimum wage job or some sort of... I fucking... Mm, other. I need to stop abusing the swim because I can't turn around very fast in the, like, jet thing. I need to swim normally. Man, minimum wage job makes sense. Also, hopefully, the I, I guess the the hope with the minimum wage job is that, like, the time spent doing minimum wage job is like confined to work hours, and you're not like constantly stressing about it like you would be for homework assignments or finals. So then, hopefully, you'll have more time to focus on stuff like story writing or streaming or whatever outside of work hours. I'm just not learning from any of my mistakes. Right. 
is where the first checkpoint would be if this weren't hard mode. Alright, I need to be a little more cautious here. There's this DK barrel that does absolutely nothing. Now we swim up. I really was looking too far ahead. You're so excited to not be able to be called a student. Is it the label of being a student? I feel like it would just be more the excited for not being a student versus specifically not be able to be called one. Not considered yourself a student for years? Oh. I actually didn't know that you didn't consider yourself a student. You are more literally talking about people calling you and it pisses you off more. If you don't mind me asking, I'm curious as to why. If you do mind me asking, I will shut up. Okay. Ah, damn it. You don't like being something you're not willingly being. Okay, that actually makes sense. Fair enough. When are you done with the, um, the classes that you're taking now? Like, wh when are you free, I guess, from the tyrannies of a college education you don't want? December 15th. Okay, cool. That's not that far away. That's like a week. You got this. What is concerning is I don't... Sorry, I'm completely switching topics and going back talking about the game that I'm playing. I haven't seen the O yet, so there's probably a lot of level that I just have not gotten. Ah! Two yet. Right. So I think I was rushing the octopus section too much, because I think I, and I don't know if this turned out, I kind of assume that, you know, in a vertical section that, like, somehow it gets filled with, like, a lava rising kind of thing. Like, the octopus kind of comes up, and if you're too slow, then you just get hit from below. I'm not sure if that's actually the case. I think I'm just gonna play it slow until I, like, can confirm or deny whether there's any risk to playing it too slow. I mean, I guess his model does, like, Okay. We've made it to a new part of the level. Oh god, it's an eyeball through a wall! And then a tentacle through a different part of the wall, that's gonna get hit. <laughs> oh, this is a- this is a fucking horror level. I don't like the puffer fish. Especially because I know I still have to fight an entire fucking boss of one. Oh god. Uh, just run. And by run, I mean swim. Alright. We doing it? I got... How did I miss that banana? The... You think I would miss the banana at the end, not a random one on the side? Oh god, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. I don't 
have to be super fast here. Just don't rush off screen. Because you don't know what's coming. I don't know why I decided to try to go through that gap. Okay, I'm running out of air. Oh god, it went all the way across. Okay, there is something that fills up from- There is ink that fills up from the bottom. It just doesn't fill up very quickly. Oh my god, this level is so fucking stressful. <laughs> I don't know how stressful this level looks. But playing through this level is so fucking stressful with, with one hit. It's awesome, I think, normally, but with one hit, it is just fucking terrifying. Although that was like a large chunk of the level I just made it through first try, so maybe this isn't as bad as I thought if I just... Because I have a little more time to not be an idiot about things. Although, who knows, maybe that was just beginner's luck. We'll see next attempt, I guess. Oops, that is not how you do that. Get the fucking K, please. Thank you, Dixie. Weirdly, you think you'll be more afraid to do things? No, I don't- I don't think that's weird. That's like- as Like, that was my first thought, too. Is like, yeah, you'll have... More time to do stuff, because... I mean, <laughs> I guess this is weird for me to say as someone who's never had, like, a traditional job. The only jobs I've had have been, you know, at university. <laughs> And I've still been a student the entire time. Um... But, like, it seems like a job is... ...more constrained to working hours than a student is. And I guess that's because, you know, I'm dead. And because, like, in a job... It, as a student, you're not, like... It's not like you're in classes from 9 to 5. You're in classes, I don't know, 2 hours a day, 3 hours a day... ...maybe less, maybe more, depending. And then you have homework. So, like, maybe over the course of the day, um, you're doing, like, a standard amount of work, but you're not, but it's more spread out, and it's also more up to yourself to schedule when to do things. At least, when to do non-in-class work. The job is a lot more structured, and probably more, like, self-contained. And you have ADHD, so scheduling is- I- I need to stop fucking looking at chat and swimming into every goddamn fish. You also get money of a job? That is true. Money is a good thing to have. In this capitalist world we live in. I don't know why I brought up capitalism, but it's hard not to sometimes- <laughs> Well, I was waiting for- I was waiting for me to run into those spikes at some point, and there you go. Yeah, I will say, like, I am, I think, a very good scheduler. I don't always stick to the own schedules I make myself, but I'm, like, a good planner. So at least I can be like, alright. Like, I just think about my day as, like, alright, what do I need to get done today? When do I need to do it? So my plan today was, like, alright, I'm gonna wake up, gonna relax, check email, have lunch. Then from about 1 to 5... My plan is to do laundry and then do this, like, particular subtask of the assignment I've been working on. It's like, I'm working on a, a term paper that I have to write for a class I'm taking, so it's basically, like, looking at a paper somebody else wrote and kind of summarizing a main result in a 5-10 to 10 page paper. So I'm like, alright, I'm gonna take a look at this particular subsection of the paper and then write it up in my paper. And that's gonna be primarily what I do between, like, well, I said 1 and 5, and it ended up being 1.30 to 5.30, but whatever. And then at the same time, I'm gonna be like, I need to do laundry, I need to call my friend whose birthday it is, and then I'm gonna, after that, I'm gonna have dinner and stream, and then get ready for bed. And that is just my, essentially, beat-by-beat beat plan for the day. And for the most part, that is how it ended up playing out. The source of all problems can eventually be traced back to capitalism. You've never made a schedule in your life? I mean... I know that me saying, oh, you should do that, it'll work, is like, obviously not a helpful thing to say, because yes, ADHD does make it hard to do that. 
it does help me a lot. Sorry, I just realized the level, I got to the actual part in the level where I have to focus. Oh. Is there anything up here? Feels like this is where they'd hide something, like on this random level. Oh, this is probably just a checkpoint, actually. Like, I guess my, like, like, once again, this is something that probably won't work for everyone. But if I am overwhelmed by anything, like, particularly, like, if it's like, all right, I have all this shit to do and no time to do it. This feels like a puzzle piece hidden location. Oh, it's up there. Oh, I've already gotten that. Okay. Whatever. Where is this? Okay, it just fixed me out right back where it was. But yeah, if I, if I get overwhelmed with work, my way of around it is like, alright, just make either, like, depending on what the time scale is, like, make a day-by-day -day plan. Like, alright, I have five days to get three assignments done, and this is when I'm gonna work on them. Jesus Christ, I forgot about the ink. Uh. Ah, damn it. Um, or... If it's like, alright, I need to make sure I get this stuff done today, it's more like an hour by hour. So it's an hour by hour, or day by day, or sometimes both. Um... And it just gives me the structure I need of like, alright, I need to do this. To, to be able to get through it all. Now I realize that that advice doesn't necessarily work on everyone. But it has definitely... It's kind of my only way of like calming down when I get overwhelmed by like, holy crap, I have so much to do and not enough time to do it, is like plan everything out, and that helps him realize, alright, I do have enough time, I just may need to work my ass off for a week, but I know I can do that, and I don't love putting myself in those situations, and I'm a, a terrible procrastinator, maybe because I know in that I can get away with putting myself in those kind of time crunch situations. I don't think I do my best work under pressure, but I do more work under pressure than not under pressure. I don't even know if what I'm saying makes sense, but... Oh shit! I'm too slow! Unless it's that you need to be asleep, you can't feel guilty about what you're doing outside of work. Yeah, that does make sense. You're progressing right now. It does make sense in a fantasy way. Yeah, I guess that's something that, like... Like, I don't know if you're... I, I don't... Okay, at least something that I will say is, like, I thrive most in structure. And I don't know if that's the same for you or not, because I don't know how differently our brains work. Um... But, like, I need to give myself structure, which is why I think that I'm a good student, because the, the you know, the school part works for me. Like, it, it gives me the structure I need to motivate myself to learn. It's actually... The more school I do, the less structure there is, and so the more I have to kind of make it for myself and self-motivate. Because, like, something like, I have to write an essay that is due on Monday. It's like, okay. That is a very concrete thing I can, I can work with. 
versus I have a research project I'm working on that I would like to, you know, make some amount of progress for it sometime in the next month, but I don't know how much form that will take or how long it'll take me to get anywhere. And all I can really do is say, like, I want to put in as many hours, but it just becomes so nebulous and the deadlines feel so non... Like, it's all self-imposed deadlines for the most part. And that's what's rough for me. So I have to kind of, like, make my own structure, either through saying stuff like- Ah, oh, shit, I knew that was gonna get me. Either through stuff like breaking it up into subtasks and being like, Alright, this is step one, let me work on this, or let's just let me work on this concrete thing. Or just saying, like, alright, whatever, we're gonna spend from 2 to 4 p.m. just working on research and nothing else, and then we're gonna take a break, and then we're gonna work on it again from 5 to 6 or whatever. You don't think you've ever done an essay on a day other than the day it's you got A's on- get A's on literally all of them? I think you're a good writer. I mean, that definitely helps with that. I- I don't think I've ever... done the write an entire essay on the day it's you, but I'm also a, a very slow writer. Like, if I need to write, like, a five-page paper, even just to get a draft, it'll- like, I can't- like, I don't write five pages in a day. Like, I've just never been able to get, like, to do that. Like, I think one of my last big essays I had to write in college was a 10-page paper, and I think it ended up being written essentially two to three pages a day over the course of four days, and I just could not get myself to write much more than that. And maybe because it's about stuff I wasn't, like, super passionate about, and the deadline wasn't very pressing, but I didn't, I couldn't leave all 10 pages for the end, because I knew I just wouldn't be able to do that. You recently did some writing about a character named Olive, and in three hours he wrote 2,400 words. I guess I can write quickly about some stuff. Like, if it's something I'm, like, genuinely passionate about, I, it, it can help. Like, I remember, like, I... Like, there were essays in college where it's, like, write about... Like, it was a lot more vague, and I could just write about something I enjoyed, and not, like, a random book or history piece or whatever. Those essays were a little quicker for me. And actually, some of the quickest writing I've ever done is like... <sighs> you appreciate the compliment, you're you somewhat believe you, your brain, your brain doesn't fully believe it. I mean, you've sent me a lot of the writing, and what I've read is... ...genuinely very good and interesting. Um... I don't even know what I was saying anymore. Oh yeah, like, some of the quickest writing I've done is, like... I kinda- I just, like... Trauma dumping isn't the right word, but, like... Emotional, like, I need to write down my feelings... Kind of thing. Just so that I don't- for Just- just to help vent and get through them, and also to, um... Just to remember stuff, like how I feel. Like, that stuff gets... That stuff is super quick, because that's just all flow of consciousness kind of stuff. But stuff that's actually... But that stuff that's actually going to be read by anybody is a lot less so. That's one of your favorite techniques, you trick yourself into being some of your characters and begin yelling as if you are them and that helps you write. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah, I had at one point... There was some sort of forum I was on, I think it was. I don't remember the exact details, but there was some sort of, like... There was a way to, there, there was a website that I was part of at some point as a kid, like middle school, high school, a little bit into college, 
uh, that for whatever reason this had a feature where like if you join this website you were given a blog that you could post and other people could read. And so a lot of people just use that blog as like essentially a Facebook kind of thing or a Twitter kind of thing where it's just like here's like whatever I'm randomly thinking about. And I did that too for a while. And then at some point it got to the point where it's like, at some point when I transitioned away from like high school to college, it's like, you know, I have like, like it got to be like reflections on, cause it was, the, the community for this website was mostly a high school based community. And I knew that I wouldn't be as big a part of it, a part of it in college. Cause it's just not my demographic anymore. I probably have mentioned this on stream at some point before. Or just in various DMs with you. But at some point I just started being like super reflective about like my time with the community. And people started liking that. And it's like, oh, okay, this is nice actually to get some sort of feelings out about like moving on and transitioning from high school to college. And when I got to college, I continued to kind of use that blog, not so much as like a, here's a Facebook kind of thing of what I'm doing in college, just so much as emotional venting about random shit that happened in college. It was over voice? Entirely possible. Um... And so then it was like, huh, like, and people like read it and commented on it, but it was kind of like, it wasn't like, it was like pseudo-anonymous in a sense, because the people that were reading it were not like my IRL friends, they were just people from this community that I'd met over the years. So it was a way to kind of get my feelings out in a way that was like, heard by people, and even responded to by people, which is, which is nice, to kind of see that interactivity without having to like, talk about random hard things and vent for 10 minutes to friends about, like, random shit I've been dealing with. And, like, long term, like, I, I noticed that I haven't really used that, um, blog that much since I finished college. Actually, I think not at all. Um... And I think I just kind of switched to, like, actually talking to people about shit I was dealing with. Or, like, psychologists. Um... Actually, I guess it makes- actually, now that I think about it, the timing of that makes a lot of sense. Because <laughs> throughout a lot of middle school and high school, I was seeing a psychologist, but then I wasn't able to see him anymore when I moved off to college, and I never got one while in college. <laughs> And then that's kind of maybe when I started using the blog as, like, a replacement for that. And then, um... And then in grad school, at least post-pandemic, I did, um... Get a psychologist, like, a couple years ago. Maybe not post-pandemic, like, as a result of the pandemic, I'm like, I need to talk to someone professional. And I think a lot of the comments I would have reserved for that blog just ended up getting talked about either with friends, because I've been like a little more open, especially with one thing, especially with online friends, I think, due to that kind of pseudo-anonymity thing where it's like these people don't know me as personally. Like, I don't know. It's easier for me to be fuck. It's easier for me to be like open with people online. Or social in general, not just open, but just social in general, with people online than in real life. There's just less awkwardness, I find. But yeah, I think based on all that, I, I stopped using that. But yeah. Hey there, Yuigi. Welcome back to the stream. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to Underwater Hell.
This stage is pretty long and hard to beat without taking damage because there's just a lot of enemies and a lot of spikes. I don't know if you played your Tropical Freeze at all. You actually just got an ad for something you already used? Oh, nice. What was it for? Yeah, these tentacles just come in. You just gotta dodge them. And then, ah, spike rocks from the ceiling. Oh, your bank? That's hilarious, actually. Yeah, we started a stage with 99 lives. I'm down to 78, and I've gotten a few one-ups off of bananas. Every time I look at chat, I die. BRB, alright, see you a bit, Rain. Okay, I've made it, like, to what I think is near the end twice in uh, how long, however, however long I've been alive. But yeah, World 4 is when this hard mode stuff has seemed to just kick it into over gear. Levels get harder and longer, which, you know, makes sense as the game progresses, but it's just... brutal. You got it from GameStop and B in a week or so, you just returned, had your phone, but did not feel the need to keep. Fair enough. I think it's a great game that I would keep. And I don't know if you ever did, because what I'm doing is hard mode. I'm sure you've seen hard mode stream before, but... Yeah, once you 100% it, which I don't know if you ever 100% it or just beat it, but once you 100% it, you get to play every stage again in one-hit KO mode. that tentacle cycle, and then we can keep being fast to beat those, and then this is where we should slow down and take take our time. Not too much time, though. Ugh, god. It's not- the puzzle pieces actually don't count for completion, it's just the... Technically, I think the completion is tracked entirely just by level completion, but you need the Kong letters to, um... You need the Kong letters. Because if you get all the Kong letters in the stage, that unlocks the K stage, and if you get all the K beat all the K stages, that's what unlocks the bonus world. There's puzzle pieces and time trials, but those don't count for anything percentage-wise, which is very weird. So when I say that, like, I'm going for two- like, what I'm going for is technically 200%, but I still haven't done any of the time trials, and that's just something I'll do on my own time if I ever feel like replaying this game in a year or two. Um, and the puzzle pieces, which I'd probably just look up a guide for. But once again, not gonna be on stream. <laughs> Playing through the game twice on normal and hard mode is enough. I don't need to also play it additional time for fucking hell time trials or uh Time trials or whatever the fuck the uh, puzzle pieces. Hey there, Simon. Welcome back to stream. It is a uh, use the bonus command. There was already a bonus stream this month. But there is a reason that there's more than one. Cause it's bonus month, baby.
Yeah, a few reasons why this is bonus month. Uh, number one, I'm realizing that the amount of bonus streams I have to do is, like, increasing over time. Like, once a month bonus streams does not, like, account for all the stuff, for all the projects that I'm developing. And I just wanted to, like, check some stuff off the list, or at least make progress towards checking things off the list. And two, this is not going to be a full month of stream. Two, this is not going to be a full month of streams because I'm going to be out of town for over half a month. Um, for winter break. And three, if you're going to do one of these like completing various projects thing during any month, December feels the most thematic. And I was saying earlier, um, just because some random family stuff has come up, nothing bad, just family stuff. Um, I don't know how many more streams I'm going to be able to do this month. There will almost surely be a stream on Thursday. Um... And I want to do a stream this weekend, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to. And then that's all. And then I'm gonna be out of town for like three weeks. So my plan is to do Rayman Legends on third, probably Rayman Legends on Thursday, because that I think of all the projects that I still have for bonus streams, because I finished Pac-Man now. Uh, Rayman Legends is the closest towards being finished, because it probably is only one or two streams, just never won the whole. And then um. And what? I don't fucking know what I was gonna say. Oh, and then probably a stream of Hat in Time Deathwish if if I have time to do another one. You think the most thematic month for bonus month will be Elite Month in the lunar calendar? True. But I don't know when the next Adar 2 is. Just be like Worst Buy and have a dozen sub goals. Does he have that many sub goals that he still owes? Jeez. See, I just can't reach any of my sub goals. So you, if you don't reach any sub goals, you don't have to do them. Literally 12? Oh my god. <laughs> I do have two, like, sub- I do have two permanent sub goals that I made after there were some ideas I had in September. I'm like, this, I like this too much not to leave it, so... I think there's permanent sub goals at 25 and 50. Um, but I'm also, I think, currently at five subs. So, we're not exactly close to reaching those. I thought I could make it there. If we get there, we get there. We'll see. Also, that Adar 2 thing I was talking about is not a joke. Like, the Jewish calendar, which, you know, I am familiar with, is, um, is a lunar calendar. And that is the, and that is the leap month, is the month of Adar, you just, there's a second one in leap years. Which are, which are, I believe the cycle is that there are seven out of every 19 years are leap years in the Jewish calendar. Not quite one in three, but about one in three. And I don't know if this year is one or not. A dark two, if it exists, it's in like it's like March-ish, like March to maybe early, like mid to late March to early April, something like that. Um, but I have no idea when the next one is. But yes, that is literally the bonus month. I don't know, I'm trying to think like, is there a reason why it's that specific month that is the duplicated one, and like, 
It's confusing because weirdly enough, there's not one consistent new year in the Jewish calendar. Like, there's a new year, but then there's also, like, a historical new year. And, like, if you go by the historical new year, then New Year's Day is, I think, months in on month seven. <laughs> Yeah, I think even if you look in the Bible, like, some of the holidays are, like, on the seventh, like, Yom Kippur, which is, like, on the tenth day of the year, is, like, on the seventh, it, it literally says, like, on the seventh month on the tenth day. So... So I believe that the, the leap year, I think the leap month that is added is the last month of the historical calendar. But because... That doesn't, because, but it's the, like, the calendar for, like, when New Year, but it's the seventh month of the year, kind of, as it is currently. I've also heard it described as if you're describing, like, an era, like, how long a king reigned for or something, how you count the years is based on how many times, like, you get to New Year's using the historical New Year. I don't know, it's confusing and I haven't been, you know, really in a Jewish setting to remember this stuff in many years, so... Sorry if I'm inadvertently spreading misinformation, I cannot get through this part. Imagine having sub goals. Do you not have sub? I mean, to be fair, I have not had sub goals in uh, a very long time. Or like, I sorry, I did not have sub goals for a very long time. I basically only made sub goals for September. I don't even know if I had them for September 2021. It may literally, it may just have been September this year that I had sub goals for. And I think I had some bonus sub goals on the two year stream anniversary thing. Like, hey, I'll extend the stream if I hit certain amount of stuff, which did not happen. I'm not very good at meeting sub goals, but whatever. That's, I, I, I do not do this for the money or the sub count or any number. I just do it because it's, I stream because it's fun and for the community. <laughs> And also because it's nice to have someone there for you when you're fucking going insane swimming Dixie Kong through an octopus's tentacles for 45 minutes straight making zero tangible progress. I was holding left! Oh my god. I need to maybe use the A swim and not the Y swim once I get to that point. But then they kind of fall behind, I don't know. It's like, that specific part is the part that I've struggled the most on. Like, if I can get past that one swimming up through the rocks bit, then the next significant part of the level is actually much easier. And then there's like a second one of those kinds of parts at the end, and that's where I've died a couple times. But that's not all the way until the end of the level. Or at least what I imagine is the end of the level. Yeah, I believe there are five levels left in this world. This one, three other main levels, and a boss. The goal was to do all that tonight, but I also kind of assumed that this would take like half an hour for this level and not an hour, so we'll see. The boss fight is hard in this world, or at least I had a lot of trouble with it. Um, the first time around. But, you know, it's been close to two years since I've done this boss fight, so maybe I'm better at it now. Alright. 
this is where I need to be careful and just clean my moves out. Okay. We made it. Dumbest way to die. That is the dumbest way to die. It's a fucking stationary enemy and just swam right into it. You have one or two active subs, so you're working on just trying to be more consistent. I think I have like three, four. I think I have five subs currently. But one of them was like a 12 year gift or 12 year, a 12 month gifted sub. Um by someone who, like, that's not gonna happen a second time. See, I legitimately don't know, like, I have literally five people subscribed and I don't know who all of them are. I can name four. I genuinely don't know who the fifth is. I guess I'll look through the data at some point. It's probably somebody that is. I don't know. I disagree with that fucking Mario Maker ass spike hitbox. It was, I think part of the reason, like, I don't even feel comfortable talking about subs. It's like, I, I, like, I hate advertising myself. Like, this is a problem I had in, like, you know, interviews. Like, a problem I have, like, in interviews. It's like, you have to sell yourself, and I just fucking selling myself because it just seems like I'm bragging. I, I guess for a stream it's not advertising myself for bragging, it's advertising like give me money, which is like once again not why I stream and not what I want viewers to uh to think to think of what this stream is. Which is why I feel awkward like continuing this conversation, but You'll try to think of some for September next year, you're just fairly busy this year? I mean, yeah, that makes sense. I really need to watch more of your streams, I just, for whatever reason, just the timing is such that I just... I think what it is, is just that, like, my designated, like, time I am usually free to watch streams is, like, not great hours. If people are, like, you know, on the East Coast like you are and streaming at reasonable hours, it's, like, while I, a lot of times it is while I am still at work. Because, you know, I work until, you know, 5 p.m. around most days. That is 8 p.m. for you, and if you stream after work from, like, you know... <laughs> four to eight or whatever. I'm not always free to watch. And I, and I... I don't know. I want to watch everyone's streams, but obviously there is a limited amount of time in the day to watch, and also a limited amount of, like, time I have to watch. Like, I cannot be watching streams the entire day, because I have responsibilities and shit. I hope that your streams have been going well, UEG. And, si and Simon, for that matter, too, if you're a I saw I saw you were streaming something, like, the other night, or maybe last night.
hopping and showering in bed. All right. Night, UAG. Thanks for coming by the stream. Sleep well, and uh, see you around. Enjoy your alert. Maybe by the time you finish getting ready for bed, I will have finally beaten this level and you'll be able to see something different. Or maybe not. I don't know. I feel like I'm pretty consistent at, like, getting to the octopus part, but very inconsistent at making it past. Like, I just keep dying in one specific part. Hey there, Yoshi! Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well. It is monkey... It's monkey Monday, but my calendar is messed up or something. I can get to, like, right about here pretty consistently, and then I keep dying in this part. Okay, wait. Actually, actual progress. Switch team sign after the fall gets issue. That's good. Yeah, that is really bizarre that your entire switch just like froze up trying to close Fall Guys. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. I don't know how I made it through that, but thank you Dixie Kong and your small hitbox. Ah, never mind. That's what I get for not going a route that I've made it through that way in the past. I got that entire section I was in that, like, first tried the first time I got there, and then have failed it the last two. Ah, oh, damn it. You're back, but on your computer? I didn't realize that you weren't on your computer originally. <laughs> you were in your bed several feet away? That makes sense. Anyways, welcome back. As you can tell, we're still on the same level. You're having a time. This is truly tragic. Yeah, I just, there's, I mean, I think I'm getting a little better, but not a lot better, and I still haven't gotten another, I got like two attempts at the ending, but not any in like, what feels like half an hour, and what may literally be half an hour. I'm getting pretty consistent the first bit. Like, I can get to right here pretty consistently, and then I've been dying a lot here, but... Actually, the last few times I've survived. And in this part, the first couple times I got to this part, I did it first try, so I didn't really, like, oops, uh, develop any sort of, like, strategy. And now I'm realizing I actually need to develop some sort of strategy. Harbor fish, you just swim right through. 
Okay. Alright, progress. Here she got all the bananas, too. Alright, here we go. This is that ending part I said that I've only made it to, like, I uh, two or three times. I've also died to that exact tentacle twice. I think of the three times I've made it, three or four times I've made it there, I've died immediately twice, so that is not good. <laughs> this level is called the Irate 8, but I think I'm the one that's irate here. What are the eight? Presumably, because it's an octopus. So presumably the eight tentacles. Or legs, or whatever you want to call them. The thing that an octopus has eight of. Even though I don't know if all eight ever show up on screen at once, maybe at the end. Remember, I don't think I really made it much further than this. So I don't really know what to expect from this part. So we're just blindly moving. Shit. You might be being your most money spent on a commission record soon, but you might not. That's potentially exciting. How do you not... Is it that you... Fucking Mario Maker Spike hitboxes. Why do you not know? Is it that you're not sure if you have the money to spend, or you're not sure how much exactly the commission is gonna be? Or you're not sure if the artist's commissions are open? It's not a first come, first serve. Does that mean you've like so does that mean you've like asked for a commission but you're not sure if it's gonna be accepted? I really wonder how much of the level is left past where I died there, because I had all the letters, I had the G. It feels like that would be the ending, or at least the last major section, but I just don't know how long it is. Do you know which of your characters the commission would be of? Or like what exactly the commission would be? Or is that still also up in the air? 
I just swam right between those air bubbles. Awesome. I just hit spikes that I wasn't touching. Awesome. Why am I going down there? That's just a bomb. The artist opens a form, everyone who wants one fills it out, and then the artist selects which one of those she actually wants to. I guess that makes sense. And I guess there's not... Is there a way of knowing how many other people, like, also filled this out? Or will you just not know? You don't think so? She's taking eight commissions out of an unknown number of applicants. Got it. I wonder if taking eight would be like... It would be Rain and Icarus. Nice. I wonder if there's something of like... Wanting a variety of drawing things. So like... If multiple people want... Like she like... May only do one like... Fox character or whatever. If she wants to practice at drawing a variety of animals. Like I'm curious how you go about selecting the eight. And, like, I guess part of it is, like, which character designs do you want to draw the most? Or which backgrounds or what, like, other stuff based on it. But I wonder if some of it is, like, wanting variety. So how, I guess the question is how expensive would, would this be? 280 Canadian. What is the exchange rate between Canadian and US dollar? 206. You keep answering, how do you, how have you answered my last two questions before I've asked them? That's actually kind of insane. I mean, I guess the conversion is a logical thing to say, but the fact that I, we were talking about the cost for a while, and then I suddenly bring it up right as you type it. 206? Okay. That is definitely a lot. I'm pretty sure my capture card is, like, about $206. That's as expensive as my capture card. Well, maybe not the S+. Plus. Maybe the S+, Plus is closer to 250 I don't know. This is your first experience being as an artist who isn't either first comer or first server, just takes off missions. You're nervous? I mean, it makes sense to be nervous, but... It's probably not the end of the world if you don't get this particular commission. There are definitely a lot of really good artists out there that you can get stuff for later down the road, or even, like, right now. I think the only thing keeping me sane is this really fun, like, chase music, is the only way of describing it. The music in this game is so good. Actually, really everything about this game is so good, it's just hard. Fun fact, the fucking I'm an idiot.
Fun fact, I'm an idiot. Fun fact number two, the mode called hard mode is in fact hard. Well, you're not sure as if you don't get it, if you should just resubmit in the future or not. Uh, that's probably something that you should, like... If you don't get it, I would, like, DM the artist. And just tell her, hey... Heard that I didn't get selected... In the future, it, it, like, is this something that you would possibly draw in the future if there was less other... Submissions, uh, or should I submit something different next time? Because you could also, like, resubmit with, like different characters or just a different setting or something that might be more to her taste I don't know I think that's just something you'd have to ask about in if you don't end up getting selected which I hope you do when this isn't relevant but draws a lot of game women okay that is definitely <laughs> that may give you a bit of an advantage. Oh god! I was almost dead, I'm actually dead. This level is fucking brutal, man. I don't know what else to say, this is just hard. Why does that bomb not always trigger? Ugh, I'm losing it. I mean, at the very least, it's like... At this point, it's like, it's understandable to be nervous, but like... You've submitted, there's nothing you can do between now and when you hear back, so... Just... Try to focus on something else if you can. Like, writing. Although I guess that's not happening today. How do I keep making it between those? There does not really seem to be enough of a gap, but there is. Hearing back happens tomorrow or the day after. Oh, that's not too bad. that that attempt where I said, like, I almost died and then died immediately after I said that. Like, how I'm learning to get past that section is, like, a very specific route that, like, wasn't available if I was, like, messed up and too slow in the first bit. Like, the falling games would be at slightly different positions and I just couldn't, like, wouldn't have been able to, uh, to make it. Or wasn't able to make it on the same kind of... Like, I wasn't able to make it on the same trajectory that I would... Or the same route, I guess. Just because the route was timing dependent and the timing was fucked. So it's nice that going in a barrel, um... Refills your water. Alright, take number whatever. Swim up. Ah, no, the explosion as the ink covers the screen. We're down to 54 lives. We started at 99, so that's minus 45. I've definitely gotten several one-ups on Banana, so I've probably died on this level like 70 times this stream. And I tried this level a little bit last stream, too. Like, it's possible I've 
This takes like a hundred tries to do this, which seems like a lot. Very deliberately not grabbing the barrels. The barrels don't do anything. Like, normally the barrels would refill your health and give you another Kong, but neither of those exist in hard mode. Like, how you break a barrel underwater, you don't pick up... Like, norm like in an overworld stage, you can at least pick up the barrel and use it to throw out enemies, but you can't pick up barrels underwater, you just swim into them. And that does nothing. Like, you see, like, see, I broke it and literally nothing changed. So yes, this level is much easier, not in hard mode, not only because, you know, the one health, but like you've seen, there's like, you know, several chances to get health and your extra Kong back. But, uh... No. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I'm not grabbing them, because I literally can't. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. I didn't swim left enough. I would love to get more than, like, one attempt every 15 minutes that makes it past the... Actually, it's not even... I think there's been two or three attempts I've had that have made it past the... that tentacle. Like, I just want more practice on the... the falling... Like, the... the second bit with all the spike balls. That's, like, right after the tentacle and the G and the bombs that killed me last attempt... Or the... not last attempt, but the attempt before. waiting for the attempt where I miss this O and have to restart because I missed the letter. It hasn't happened yet, but I feel like it will. Like, I should never miss it, but you know, the odds of actually... If should is like, I will miss it 5% of the time if I get 20 attempts there, you know? One of them's gonna fuck up, probably. Okay, I'm starting to at least get more attempts here. Alright, didn't trigger the bombs this time. Alright, we've got a legitimate chance here. And immediately threw it away. Okay, maybe not immediately, but close to immediately. That sucks. Sorry. Harry, you wanna hear something funny? That 
I was like tracking the like I saw on the on on Twitter today. Whoa, what? Just happened. Oh. Uh My entire computer froze. I can still move the map, but No, my uh Oh god. Okay. Can you still hear me? Yeah, my entire computer is fucking frozen. Uh, I'm just gonna hard reset. Yeah, I'm just... Oh, wait. Uh... Yeah, I... I... Okay. Yeah, I, I just need to hard reset my computer. I'll be back in a couple minutes. I know you can hear me, but yeah, my computer is just fucked right now. Um, so I will see you in like five minutes or so. Yeah, I can't even click this end stream button. Ah, panic, bye.